crispy, crunchy, ooey gooey, double chocolatey, marshmallowy s'more bars with homemade graham crackers is what we're cooking up here at Lakeside Table. Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table, and if you like kicking your dishes up a notch, then you definitely wanna hit that subscribe and like button because that's exactly what we do here. And in fact, we're gonna do that right now with these s'more bars. These are ultimate s'more bars. So go ahead and get your ingredients together, and if you would like to really kick it up a notch, I highly recommend checking out this video that I'll link to on how to make your own graham crackers to turn them into two cups of graham cracker crumbs. So you definitely wanna check that out. And for the marshmallow topping, I'm going to give you two options, an easy button and a five-star gourmet option that will knock your socks off. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a secret for getting that real campfire flavor into your s'more bars that's going to have everybody reaching for their coziest sweater. Start with two cups of graham cracker crumbs in a large bowl. Then add four tablespoons of unsalted melted butter, three tablespoons sugar, and one teaspoon coarse salt. Stir this all together. and then pour it into a nine by 13 casserole dish lined with parchment paper. Tap it down and set it aside. Okay, now let's work on the double chocolate brownies. Whisk together three eggs. One and a half cup of sugar and two teaspoons vanilla. In a separate bowl, sift together one cup of cocoa, three quarter cup of flour, and one teaspoon salt and set this aside. Next, chop six ounces of bittersweet chocolate into pea-sized chunks and set that aside. Now it's time to bring it all together. Stir one third of the eight ounces of melted butter into the sugar mixture, then one third of the cocoa and flour mixture. Continue alternating this until everything is completely combined. Then last but not least, fold in the chocolate. Pour this over the graham cracker crust and bake it at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Now that our brownies are in the oven, let's go ahead and jump on our five-star marshmallow topping. Now, if you want a real in-depth step-by-step to how to make homemade marshmallows, definitely click on this link and I'll walk you through it. But real quickly, in a nutshell, this is how you do it. Bloom three packages of unflavored gelatin in a half cup of water. Then very carefully pour a hot sugar syrup made of a half cup water, one and a half cup sugar, one cup light corn syrup and a half teaspoon salt that you've just brought up to 240 degrees. Then very carefully put your mixer on the very lowest setting and gradually bring it to the highest speed and let that spin on high for about 15 minutes or until it becomes white, thick and fluffy. Now you wanna pour your marshmallow fluff over your brownies immediately before it starts to set up. Spray a piece of parchment paper and press that into the top to smooth it out. And that is how you do homemade marshmallow topping. All right, are you ready for the easy button? Okay, so for your second option, this is how you do it with store-bought marshmallows. Microwave a 16 ounce bag of marshmallows in a bowl for 30 seconds then spread them over the chocolate middle layer. Now for some campfire flavor. Smoke two thirds cup of graham cracker crumbs. Give the crumbs a few minutes to soak up the smoke. While it's doing that, use a blow torch or a kitchen torch to toast the marshmallow topping. Okay, so this is ready to serve just like this. Um, 
The marshmallow before it has a chance to set up might be a little bit on the ooey and gooey side. Uh, and if you let it sit for 24 hours or so, you'll definitely get a nice clean cut like this. Um, but I highly, highly recommend when you're ready to serve it and you're ready to eat it, give it about 20 seconds in the microwave. Um, it will get a little wonky, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and just toast up the sides a little bit. And then we're gonna finish it off with that campfire flavor of these smoked graham cracker crumbs right on top. And then you can serve it right on the top of your big some more bars and give this a little bit more flame. Oh my gosh, careful not to toast your graham crackers, just the marshmallow. And you wanna talk about an ooey, gooey treat. I got goosebumps. Now just thinking about how amazing this puppy is. Oh my gosh, yeah, I wish you could just smell the campfire right now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> This is a fun treat. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you want to print out the um, the recipe, head over to Lakeside Table and you can get it there. And then definitely come on back for some more videos. And I will be eating s'mores and <laughs> cleaning up this mess. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>